James Williams, a successful white lawyer, sat in his elegant living room, the ticking of the grandfather clock, the only sound accompanying his thoughts. For weeks, he had been wrestling with a decision that many in his social circle would never understand. He had always wanted to adopt, to give a child in need a better life. But now that the moment had arrived, the complexities of his choice weighed heavily on him. The child he felt drawn to was not just any child. He was a young black boy named Samuel, a three-year-old with bright eyes and a quiet demeanor, who had been passed over by many prospective parents due to the color of his skin. James knew the reactions he would face. His colleagues, friends, and even some of his family members would question his decision, perhaps even mock him. The town they lived in was small and conservative, a place where appearances mattered more than the content of one's character. But James had never been one to bow to societal pressure. He had built his career on doing what was right, even when it was unpopular, and he knew this was no different. The process of adoption was long and arduous, filled with paperwork, home visits, and interviews. Each step brought with it a new wave of doubt, but James's resolve never wavered. Every time he saw Samuel during their visits, his heart told him he was making the right choice. The boy needed a family, someone who would love him unconditionally, and James was determined to be that person. He was ready to take on the challenges that came with adopting a child of a different race, even if it meant facing judgment from those around him. When the adoption was finally approved, James brought Samuel home to a warm and welcoming house. He had prepared everything meticulously, the room, the toys, the clothes. But as he looked at the small boy standing in the middle of his large ornate living room, he realized that no amount of preparation could ease the transition for Samuel. The boy clutched a worn teddy bear, his eyes wide with both fear and curiosity. James knelt down to his level, offering a gentle smile. Welcome home, Samuel, he said softly. The boy didn't respond with words, but the slight relaxation in his posture told James that he was starting to feel a bit more comfortable. Despite his determination, James knew that the road ahead would not be easy. Adopting Samuel was only the first step in a journey that would test both of them in ways neither could predict. The town's reaction would soon follow, and James braced himself for the challenges they would face together. But in that moment, as he watched Samuel cautiously explore his new home, James felt a sense of peace. He had made the right choice, and he was ready to stand by it, no matter what the future held. As news of the adoption spread, the reactions from the town were swift and unforgiving. James had expected some resistance, but he was not prepared for the intensity of the backlash. It began with whispers in the grocery store, sideways glances from neighbors, and cold stares from people he had known for years. The small town was tight-knit, and the arrival of Samuel disrupted the comfortable homogeneity that many of its residents cherished. At work, James noticed a change in the way his colleagues interacted with him. Conversations that once flowed easily became stilted, filled with awkward pauses. Some of his clients, upon hearing about the adoption, quietly withdrew their business, citing vague reasons that James knew were just excuses. Even at the country club, where James had been a member for years, he found himself suddenly excluded from social events and gatherings. The message was clear. His decision to adopt Samuel had made him an outsider in the very community he had served faithfully for so long. But the worst reactions came from those he had considered friends. One evening, during a dinner party, one of his oldest friends, Greg, couldn't hold back his disapproval any longer. James, why would you do this? You've worked so hard to get where you are. Why bring all this trouble into your life? The room fell silent as everyone awaited James's response. The judgment in Greg's voice was palpable, and James could see that many of the others shared his sentiment, even if they didn't voice it out loud. James took a deep breath, choosing his words carefully. I didn't adopt Samuel to make a statement or to gain approval, he began, his voice steady. I did it because it was the right thing to do. Samuel needed a home, and I have the ability to provide that. If that makes some people uncomfortable, so be it. My priority is my son, not what others think of me. The tension in the room was thick, but James didn't waver. He knew that his decision had cost him friendships and respect in the eyes of some, but he was prepared to pay that price. He had made a commitment to Samuel, 
and he wasn't going to let the narrow-mindedness of others deter him from fulfilling that promise. As he looked around the table, he realized that the circle of people he could truly rely on had grown smaller, but he also knew that those who remained by his side were the ones who truly mattered. At home, James shielded Samuel from the worst of the town's reactions, but he couldn't protect him from everything. The boy was perceptive, and he noticed the way people looked at them when they were out together. But James was determined to create a safe and loving environment for Samuel, where he could grow and thrive, regardless of what the outside world thought. Together, they began to navigate the complexities of their new life, finding solace in each other's company and in the small acts of kindness that still existed in their community. As weeks turned into months, James and Samuel settled into a routine, though the adjustment was far from easy. Samuel, having spent much of his early childhood in foster care, struggled with trust issues and the fear of being abandoned again. He was a quiet child, often retreating into himself, and James could see the weight of past trauma in his eyes. James knew that building a bond with Samuel would take time and patience, but he was committed to the process no matter how long it took. James spent as much time as he could with Samuel, trying to create a sense of normalcy in their new life together. They established rituals, reading stories before bed, playing catch in the yard, and taking walks through the park. Slowly, Samuel began to open up, though his progress was often two steps forward, one step back. There were days when he would cling to James, seeking comfort and reassurance, and other days when he would push him away, testing the boundaries of their relationship. At school, Samuel faced his own set of challenges. The other children, much like the adults in the town, were quick to notice that he was different. Samuel was often the target of teasing and exclusion, and it broke James's heart to see the sadness in his son's eyes when he returned home each day. James tried to encourage Samuel, telling him that things would get better with time, but he knew that the boy's experiences were shaping his view of the world in ways that were difficult to undo. One evening, after a particularly tough day at school, Samuel finally opened up about his feelings. Dad, why don't they like me? He asked, his voice barely above a whisper. The question cut James to the core, and he struggled to find the right words to comfort his son. Sometimes people are afraid of what they don't understand, James replied gently. But that doesn't mean there's anything wrong with you. You're an amazing kid, and I'm so proud to be your dad. We'll get through this together, okay? Samuel nodded, though the sadness in his eyes remained. James knew that the road ahead would be long and difficult, but he also knew that his love for Samuel was stronger than any challenge they would face. He made a promise to himself that he would do everything in his power to protect and support his son, even if it meant standing up to the entire town. As the days passed, James continued to advocate for Samuel, meeting with his teachers and the school principal to ensure that his son was treated fairly. He also began to involve Samuel in activities outside of school, hoping to build his confidence and help him find his place in the world. Slowly, Samuel began to show signs of resilience, though the scars of his past and the challenges of his present were still evident. But through it all, the bond between father and son grew stronger, a testament to the power of love and determination in the face of adversity. As time went on, the town's disapproval of James's decision to adopt Samuel persisted, manifesting in subtle and not-so-subtle ways. The whispers never ceased, and every public outing seemed to invite stares and muttered comments. James had hoped that the town would eventually come to accept Samuel, but instead the years were marked by a constant undercurrent of tension. Despite the challenges, James remained steadfast, determined to provide Samuel with the love and support he needed to thrive. The mocking wasn't confined to adults alone. Samuel, now a bit older, continued to face the cruelty of his peers at school. The taunting had evolved from childish teasing to more calculated acts of exclusion and ridicule. Samuel was often left out of group activities, and the jokes made at his expense became sharper and more hurtful. James did everything he could to comfort his son, but he knew that the wounds inflicted by such relentless bullying would take time to heal. Samuel's struggles didn't go unnoticed by the school staff, but the support offered was often inadequate. Teachers, while sympathetic, were unable or unwilling to confront the deep-seated prejudices of the town. The school administration made token efforts to 7 to 70s address the bullying, 
but the cultural biases ingrained in the community were hard to uproot. Samuel's grades began to slip, not because he lacked the intelligence or drive, but because the constant stress took its toll on his ability to focus. James sought out every opportunity to help Samuel find a sense of belonging. He enrolled him in extracurricular activities, hoping that Samuel would find friends and build confidence. While Samuel did find some solace in these activities, the isolation he felt at school and in the town lingered. It wasn't just the other children who made life difficult. Their parents' attitudes often influenced how their kids treated Samuel. It was a vicious cycle that seemed impossible to break. Despite the negativity surrounding them, James and Samuel forged ahead. Their bond grew stronger with each passing year, grounded in a shared understanding of the challenges they faced. James never let the town's attitudes deter him from being the best father he could be. He continued to shower Samuel with love, encouragement, and the belief that he was destined for great things. James's unwavering support became the foundation on which Samuel slowly began to build his self-worth. As Samuel entered his teenage years, he began to channel his frustrations into something productive. He developed a passion for technology, spending hours in his room tinkering with computers and gadgets. James, noticing this budding interest, encouraged Samuel to pursue it, investing in equipment and books that would allow him to explore his talents further. It was during these moments of creativity and discovery that Samuel found a reprieve from the harsh reality of his day-to-day -day life. James knew that Samuel's interest in technology had the potential to lead him down a path that would not only provide him with opportunities, but also help him rise above the narrow-mindedness of their town. The years of mockery had taken their toll, but they had also forged a resilience in Samuel that was beginning to shine through. James was proud of the young man Samuel was becoming, and he knew that one day, the town that had mocked them would see just how remarkable his son truly was. As Samuel continued to excel in his technological pursuits, his skills became more and more apparent. By the time he reached high school, he was known as a tech whiz, capable of solving complex problems that baffled even his teachers. Despite the continued coldness from many of his peers, Samuel's reputation began to shift, at least in the eyes of those who appreciated his talents. Some students, recognizing his abilities, started to seek his help with their own projects, leading to the formation of a small, tight-knit group of friends who shared his interests. This newfound camaraderie provided Samuel with a much-needed sense of belonging. Though the scars of years of mockery remained, he began to hold his head a little higher, finding confidence in his abilities and the respect of those who understood his worth. James watched with pride as Samuel blossomed in this supportive environment, relieved that his son was finally beginning to experience some of the acceptance he had always deserved. Encouraged by Samuel's progress, James decided it was time to take his son's education to the next level. He enrolled Samuel in advanced technology courses at a nine nearby community college, where Samuel quickly distinguished himself as one of the top students, despite being the youngest in his classes. The professors were impressed not only by his technical prowess, but also by his maturity and dedication. Samuel, for the first time, found himself in a place where he was judged not by the color of his skin or the circumstances of his upbringing, but by the content of his character and the brilliance of his mind. With the support of his father and new mentors, Samuel began to develop an ambitious project, a software program designed to address a pressing issue in their community. The town, like many others, had been grappling with outdated infrastructure and inefficient systems leading to frequent problems with everything from power outages to water shortages. Samuel saw an opportunity to use his skills to make a real difference, not just in his life, but in the lives of everyone in the town. James was thrilled to see Samuel so engaged and passionate about something that had the potential to create positive change. He provided the resources Samuel needed to bring his project to life, even reaching out to contacts within his professional network to help Samuel gain access to the latest technology. Together, they worked late into the night, testing, troubleshooting, and refining Samuel's software. As the project neared completion, word of Samuel's work began to spread. Even those who had once been quick to dismiss him found themselves intrigued by the idea that this young man, whom they had mocked for so long, might be on the verge of something groundbreaking. 
The town's leadership, always eager to find solutions to the community's problems, took an interest in what Samuel was developing. And before long, he was invited to present his project at a town meeting. The invitation marked a turning point in Samuel's life. For the first time, he was being recognized not for his struggles or his differences, but for his achievements. James knew that this was the moment they had been waiting for, the moment when the town would finally see Samuel for who he truly was. Not just an adopted child, not just a target of mockery, but a brilliant and capable young man with the power to change the world around him. The day of the presentation arrived, and Samuel was a bundle of nerves. This was the first time he would stand before the entire town, people who had mocked and rejected him for so many years, and present something that was deeply personal and important to him. The stakes felt impossibly high, but Samuel was determined to show them what he was capable of. James could see the anxiety in his son's eyes as they prepared to leave for the town hall. He knelt beside Samuel, placing a reassuring hand on his shoulder. You've got this, Samuel, James said, his voice filled with pride and encouragement. You've worked so hard and what you've created is amazing. Just be yourself and let your work speak for itself. No matter what happens, I'm proud of you. Samuel nodded, taking a deep breath. He knew his father's words were true, but it didn't make the prospect of facing the townspeople any less daunting. Still, he had come too far to turn back now. With James by his side, they made their way to the town hall, where a sizable crowd had already gathered, curious to see what the boy they had once dismissed had to offer. As Samuel and James entered the town hall, the room grew quiet. The townspeople watched as Samuel set up his equipment, their expressions a mix of skepticism and curiosity. Among the crowd were many familiar faces, some who had openly mocked him, others who had simply stood by in silence. Samuel could feel their eyes on him, but he forced himself to focus on the task at hand. When everything was ready, the town's mayor, a stern man who had always been wary of change, introduced Samuel. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here today to see a presentation from young Samuel Williams, who has been working on a project that may help address some of the issues our town has been facing. Let's give him our full attention. With that, Samuel stepped forward, his heart pounding in his chest. He glanced at James, who gave him an encouraging nod, and then turned to face the crowd. Good afternoon, everyone, Samuel began, his voice steady despite the nerves. I've spent the last several months developing a software program that I believe can help our town manage its infrastructure more efficiently. This program is designed to monitor and optimize the use of resources like electricity and water, reducing waste and preventing the kinds of outages and shortages we've been dealing with. As Samuel continued to explain his project, he could see the expressions in the room begin to shift. What had started as skepticism was slowly turning into genuine interest. The more he spoke, the more confident he became. And by the time he demonstrated the software's capabilities, many in the audience were leaning forward in their seats, captivated by what they were seeing. When Samuel finished his presentation, the room was silent for a moment and he feared the worst. But then the mayor stood up, a look of surprise and admiration on his face. Samuel, that was truly impressive, he said, his voice carrying across the room. I think I speak for everyone here when I say that this could be a game changer for our town. Thank you for sharing this with us. The room erupted in applause, louder and more enthusiastic than Samuel had ever imagined. People who had once dismissed him were now on their feet, clapping and cheering. Samuel could hardly believe what he was seeing. It was a moment he had dreamed of, but never thought would come true. James watched from the sidelines, his heart swelling with pride. He had always known that Samuel was destined for great things, but to see his son finally receive the recognition he deserved was more than he could have hoped for. As the applause continued, James and Samuel exchanged a look that said everything. They had faced the worst the town had to offer, and they had emerged victorious. But Samuel's journey was far from over. This was just the beginning of something much larger, something that would change not only his life, but the lives of those around him. As the applause died down, Samuel stepped off the stage, feeling a sense of accomplishment and hope that he had never felt before. The town had finally seen him for who he truly was, a young man with talent, determination, and a bright future ahead. Following his successful presentation, Samuel's life began to change in ways he had never anticipated. The very town that had once shunned him now seemed eager to embrace him. 
His software program was implemented by the town's leadership, and almost immediately the positive effects were felt. Power outages became less frequent, water usage became more efficient, and the town began to operate with a level of sophistication that surprised even its most skeptical residents. As word of Samuel's achievements spread, he received recognition not just within the town, but beyond its borders as well. Local newspapers ran stories about the young prodigy who had turned the town's fortunes around, and soon state and even national publications picked up the story. Samuel's name became synonymous with innovation and resilience, and the once isolated boy found himself at the center of a growing network of admirers and supporters. But the recognition wasn't just professional. On a more personal level, Samuel noticed a significant shift in how he was treated by those around him. The classmates who had once mocked him now sought his friendship, eager to be associated with his success. Even the adults in the town, who had been so quick to judge him and James, now approached them with respect and admiration. The small circle of friends and allies that Samuel had once relied on expanded rapidly, and for the first time, he began to feel truly accepted. Despite this newfound popularity, Samuel remained grounded, thanks in large part to James's guidance. James had always taught him the importance of humility and staying true to oneself, and Samuel took those lessons to heart. While he appreciated the recognition, he never let it go to his head. Instead, he continued to focus on his work, always striving to improve and innovate. He knew that his success was not just about proving others wrong, but about fulfilling the potential that he had always known was within him. The changes in the town were palpable. Conversations that had once been dominated by gossip and small-mindedness now centered on progress and collaboration. The people who had once mocked Samuel now looked to him for advice and guidance, and he was more than willing to help. He had no interest in holding grudges or seeking revenge for the years of mockery. Instead, he wanted to use his skills to make a positive impact on the community. As the months passed, the town continued to thrive under the influence of Samuel's innovations. New businesses were attracted to the area, drawn by the town's reputation as a forward-thinking community. The local school, once a place of dread for Samuel, began to change as well. The administration, recognizing the importance of nurturing talent and diversity, implemented new programs to support students of all backgrounds, ensuring that no one would ever have to endure what Samuel had. For James, watching his son's transformation was the greatest reward he could have asked for. He had always believed in Samuel, even when no one else did, and now the world was finally seeing what he had seen all along. But more than anything, James was proud of the person Samuel had become, a young man who, despite the challenges he had faced, remained kind, humble, and dedicated to making the world a better place. As father and son reflected on how far they had come, they both knew that their journey was far from over. There were still challenges ahead, but they were ready to face them together. The mockery and rejection of the past were now distant memories, replaced by a sense of purpose and belonging. And as they looked to the future, they did so with confidence, knowing that they had not only changed their own lives, but had also left an indelible mark on the town that had once doubted them. As Samuel's success continued to grow, so did the town's reliance on his expertise. His software program had revolutionized the town's infrastructure, and his ongoing innovations kept the community thriving. However, with success came unexpected challenges, especially when old faces from the past began to reappear in Samuel's life. People who had once mocked and belittled him, now seeking his help and guidance. One afternoon, as Samuel was working in his home office, the doorbell rang. James answered it, and to his surprise, he found Greg, the friend who had once openly criticized James for adopting Samuel. Greg looked visibly uncomfortable, his usually confident demeanor replaced by an air of unease. James, I... I was hoping to speak with Samuel, if that's okay, Greg stammered. James, though taken aback by Greg's sudden visit, invited him inside. Of course, Greg, let me get him, he said his voice calm but guarded. He knew this wasn't just a casual visit. There was something more behind it. When Samuel entered the living room, he was surprised to see Greg. The memories of their last interaction years ago were still fresh in his mind. Greg had been one of the most vocal critics of James's decision to adopt Samuel, 
and seeing him now in his home was jarring. Hello, Mr. Lawson, Samuel greeted him politely, though his tone was distant. Greg cleared his throat, clearly struggling with what he was about to say. Samuel, I'm here because, well, I need your help. My company is in trouble, and I've heard about the work you've done with the town. We've been having issues with our systems, and I was hoping you could take a look. I know I wasn't fair to you in the past, and I'm sorry for that. But I'm asking you, man to man, if you would consider helping us. 16. Samuel was taken aback. The man who had once been a symbol of the town's prejudice was now standing before him, asking for his help. It was a surreal moment, one that Samuel had never anticipated. He looked over at James, who gave him a subtle nod, signaling that the decision was his to make. After a brief pause, Samuel spoke, his voice measured and calm. Mr. Lawson, I appreciate your apology, and I can understand that everyone makes mistakes. I'm willing to help, but I want you to know that my decision isn't about holding a grudge or seeking revenge. It's about doing what's right and helping where I can. If I can make a positive difference, then that's what I'm going to do. Greg visibly relaxed, clearly relieved by Samuel's response. Thank you, Samuel. I really appreciate it. I know I don't deserve your help, but I'm grateful that you're willing to give me a chance. As Greg left the house, James turned to Samuel, pride evident in his eyes. You handled that with such grace, Samuel. I'm proud of you. Samuel nodded, though the encounter had left him with mixed emotions. Helping Greg was the right thing to do, but it also brought back memories of the pain and rejection he had endured. Yet he knew that this was a test of character, an opportunity to rise above the past and focus on the future. He was determined to let his actions speak louder than any words of mockery that had been thrown his way. As Samuel began to assist Greg's company, word spread quickly about his involvement. Soon, other people who had once mocked him began reaching out, seeking his expertise and advice. It was a strange turn of events. Those who had once tried to bring him down were now looking to him for help. Samuel took it all in stride, maintaining his focus on his work and on continuing to make a positive impact. The irony of the situation was not lost on Samuel or James. The very people who had doubted their worth were now relying on them to solve their problems. But instead of reveling in the reversal of fortunes, Samuel remained committed to his principles. He knew that success wasn't about proving others wrong. It was about staying true to who he was and using his talents to make the world a better place. As Samuel's reputation for excellence spread, it wasn't long before he faced the ultimate test of his resolve. A large corporation, known for its less-than-ethical practices, approached Samuel with a lucrative offer. They had heard of his work in transforming the town's infrastructure and wanted to hire him as a consultant for a major project. The offer was generous, promising not only financial rewards, but also significant exposure and potential partnerships that could propel Samuel's career to new heights. James and Samuel sat together in the living room, the contract from the corporation spread out on the coffee table. Samuel read through the terms carefully, his expression serious. It's a lot of money, Dad, Samuel said, breaking the silence, but I'm not sure about their intentions. This company, they don't have the best reputation. James nodded, understanding the weight of the decision his son was facing. You're right to be cautious, Samuel. This could be a great opportunity, but you have to think about what it would mean for you and for the work you're doing. What's more important to you, growing your career at any cost or staying true to your values? Samuel didn't respond immediately. Instead, he leaned back in his chair, deep in thought. He knew the offer was tempting, especially considering how far he had come and how much he had already achieved. But he also knew that accepting the offer would mean compromising on the principles that had guided him through the toughest moments of his life. The corporation's history of exploiting communities for profit was at odds with everything he stood for. After a long pause, Samuel finally spoke. I've spent so much time trying to prove myself, trying to show everyone that I'm capable of achieving great things. But if I take this offer, I'll be doing it for the wrong reasons. I'd be turning my back on everything I believe in just for the sake of success. That's not who I am. James smiled, proud of his son's maturity and integrity. I knew you'd make the right decision, Samuel. It's not always easy to walk away from something like this. 
but you've shown that your character is stronger than any temptation. You've already achieved so much, and you'll continue to do great things on your own terms. The next day, Samuel contacted the corporation and politely declined their offer. He explained that while he appreciated their interest, he could not in good conscience work for a company that did not align with his values. The response from the corporation was predictable. They were disappointed but respectful of his decision. However, the decision did not go unnoticed by others in the industry. News of Samuel's refusal to work with the corporation quickly spread, and it earned him even more respect among those who valued ethics and integrity. Invitations to speak at conferences and collaborate on projects with like-minded organizations began to pour in. Samuel's decision to stay true to his principles not only solidified his reputation, but also opened doors to opportunities that were more in line with his vision for the future. For Samuel, the experience was a powerful reminder of the importance of staying true to oneself, no matter how tempting the alternative might be. He realized that true success wasn't measured by wealth or recognition, but by the impact one made on the world and the ability to live with integrity. It was a lesson that had been instilled in him by James from the very beginning, and one that he would carry with him for the rest of his life. As Samuel continued to build his career, he did so with a renewed sense of purpose. He focused on projects that aligned with his values, using his skills to make a positive difference in the lives of others. The test he had faced had only strengthened his resolve, and he knew that he was on the right path, a path that would lead him to even greater heights, not because of the accolades or the money, but because he was doing it all for the right reasons. As Samuel continued to grow in his career, the town that had once mocked him began to experience a profound transformation of its own. The success of his software had not only modernized the town's infrastructure, but also sparked a renewed sense of community and purpose among its residents. People who had once been content to cling to outdated ideas and prejudices now found themselves questioning the way they had treated Samuel and James in the past. The town's leadership, recognizing the positive changes that Samuel's work had brought about, decided to honor him with a special event. They planned a public celebration in the town square, where Samuel would be formally recognized for his contributions. The announcement of the event stirred mixed emotions in Samuel. He appreciated the gesture, but he also couldn't forget the years of isolation and ridicule he had endured. Nevertheless, he knew that this was an important moment, not just for him, but for the entire community. On the day of the event, the town square was filled with people. Banners and posters bearing Samuel's name and accomplishments decorated the area, and a stage had been set up for the ceremony. As Samuel and James arrived, they were greeted with warm smiles and applause from the townspeople. Faces that had once been cold and unwelcoming now shone with genuine appreciation. The mayor, who had always been a conscious and conservative figure, took to the stage to deliver a speech. Today, we come together to celebrate a man who has shown us the true meaning of resilience, dedication, and integrity. The mayor began, his voice carrying across the square. Samuel Williams has not only transformed our town with his innovative work, but has also reminded us of the values that should guide us as a community. It's time for us to acknowledge the mistakes of the past and to move forward together, united by our shared commitment to progress and equality. As the mayor spoke, Samuel couldn't help but reflect on how far they had all come. The town that had once ostracized him was now publicly embracing him as one of their own. It was a bittersweet moment, filled with both pride and a lingering sadness for the years that could never be reclaimed. But Samuel knew that the recognition he was receiving wasn't just about him. It was a sign that the town was ready to change, to grow beyond its past prejudices and embrace a future of inclusivity and respect. After the mayor's speech, Samuel was invited to the stage. The applause that greeted him was overwhelming, and as he looked out at the sea of faces, he saw genuine admiration and gratitude. Taking a deep breath, Samuel addressed the crowd. Thank you for this incredible honor, he began, his voice steady. I never set out to prove anything to anyone. I just wanted to do what I love and make a positive impact where I could. The journey hasn't always been easy, but I've learned that the most important thing is to stay true to your values and to never give up on yourself or those you care about. He paused, allowing his words to sink in. 
This town has changed a lot since I first came here, and I'm proud to have been a part of that change. But the work isn't done yet. We all have a responsibility to continue growing, to continue learning, and to support each other in that process. That's the only way we can build a community that we're all proud to be a part of. The applause that followed was even louder than before, and Samuel felt a sense of closure that he hadn't anticipated. The town had finally recognized not just his achievements, but his humanity. And in doing so, they had taken a crucial step toward healing the divisions of the past. After the ceremony, many of the townspeople approached Samuel to express their gratitude, and in some cases, to apologize for how they had treated him and James. It was an emotional day, filled with heartfelt conversations and the beginnings of new friendships. Samuel accepted each apology with grace, knowing that forgiveness was the key to moving forward. As the sun began to set, casting a warm glow over the town square, Samuel and James stood together, watching the people around them laughing, talking, and enjoying the festivities. You did it, Samuel, James said, his voice filled with pride. You've changed this town for the better, and you've done it with integrity and kindness. Samuel smiled, feeling a deep sense of fulfillment. We did it together, Dad. I couldn't have done any of this without you. For the first time in years, Samuel felt at peace with the town and with himself. The journey had been long and difficult, but it had led them to this moment, a moment of redemption, not just for Samuel, but for the entire community. And as they looked toward the future, they did so with hope and confidence, knowing that they were no longer defined by the past, but by the bright possibilities of what was yet to come. As the town continued to embrace the positive changes brought about by Samuel's work, life settled into a new normal for both Samuel and James. However, the journey was far from over. One day out of the blue, Samuel received a letter that would reopen a chapter of his life he thought was closed for good. The letter was from Ethan, a childhood friend Samuel hadn't heard from in years, a friend who had been among the few to stand by him during the difficult early days after his adoption. Ethan's letter was heartfelt, filled with apologies for losing touch and regret for not being there when Samuel needed him the most. He explained that life had taken him in a different direction. College, work, and eventually moving away from the town had caused them to drift apart. But now, after hearing about all that Samuel had accomplished, Ethan felt compelled to reach out and reconnect. Samuel was surprised and moved by the letter. He had often thought about Ethan, especially during the lonelier times wondering why they had lost contact. Despite the pain of the past, Samuel felt a spark of hope. Perhaps this was an opportunity to rekindle a friendship that had meant so much to him. After discussing it with James, who encouraged him to pursue the connection, Samuel decided to write back, inviting Ethan to visit. A few weeks later, Ethan arrived in town. The moment they saw each other, it was as if no time had passed. Despite the years and the distance, the bond they had shared as children quickly resurfaced. They spent hours catching up, reminiscing about their childhood adventures, and sharing stories about the past their lives had taken. During one of their conversations, Ethan expressed how proud he was of Samuel's achievements. You've done incredible things, Samuel. I always knew you were special, but seeing everything you've accomplished, it's just inspiring. I'm sorry I wasn't there to support you through it all. Samuel shook his head, smiling. You were there when it mattered, Ethan. You were one of the few people who didn't judge me or treat me differently because of who I am. That meant more to me than you'll ever know. The two friends spent the rest of the weekend together, visiting old haunts and talking about their dreams for the future. Ethan, who had recently started a career in environmental science, shared his vision of creating sustainable solutions to combat climate change. Samuel, inspired by Ethan's passion, began to think about how they could combine their skills and interests to make a difference together. By the time Ethan's visit came to an end, the two had already begun planning a collaborative project that would merge Samuel's technological expertise with Ethan's environmental knowledge. Their goal was to develop a new software platform that could be used to optimize resource management on a larger scale, potentially benefiting not just their town, but communities around the world. James watched with pride as Samuel and Ethan rekindled their friendship and embarked on this new journey together. He knew that this partnership was not only an opportunity for Samuel to continue his growth, but also a testament to the power of enduring friendship 
in the importance of surrounding oneself with people who believe in you, even when the world doesn't. As Ethan boarded his train to return home, he turned to Samuel with a grin. This is just the beginning, my friend. We're going to change the world. Samuel smiled back, feeling a sense of excitement and purpose. I'm looking forward to it, Ethan. Let's make it happen. With renewed determination and a trusted friend by his side, Samuel knew that the future held endless possibilities. The hardships of the past had shaped him, but they no longer defined him. He was ready to move forward, confident in his abilities and in the strength of the relationships he had built along the way. With Ethan's return, Samuel felt an invigorating sense of purpose. Their idea to merge their talents and knowledge into a project that could benefit communities beyond their own quickly gained momentum. They spent countless hours brainstorming, mapping out ideas and drafting proposals, their enthusiasm growing with each passing day. The more they worked together, the more they realized that their skills complemented each other perfectly. Samuel's technological expertise and Ethan's deep understanding of environmental science formed a powerful combination. The project they envisioned was ambitious, a software platform designed to help cities and towns optimize their use of natural resources, reduce waste, and promote sustainability. The platform would utilize advanced data analytics to monitor energy consumption, water usage, and waste management, providing real-time insights and recommendations for improving efficiency. It was a solution that could revolutionize the way communities manage their resources, leading to significant cost savings and environmental benefits. To turn their vision into reality, Samuel and Ethan knew they needed support, both financial and technical. They began reaching out to potential investors, organizations, and universities that shared their passion for sustainability and innovation. The response was overwhelmingly positive. People recognized the potential of their project and were eager to be a part of it. Within a few months, they had secured funding from several prominent foundations and had formed partnerships with research institutions that offered their expertise. James, ever the proud father, watched with admiration as Samuel and Ethan's project gained traction. He had always known that Samuel was destined for great things, but seeing his son take the lead on such an impactful initiative filled him with an immense sense of fulfillment. He offered his support wherever he could, helping them navigate the complexities of funding, contracts, and partnerships. It was a new world for James, but he was more than willing to learn if it meant helping Samuel achieve his dreams. As the project progressed, Samuel and Ethan decided to launch a pilot program in their town. It was a fitting choice. After all, this was where Samuel's journey had begun and where he had faced some of his greatest challenges. The town had already benefited from Samuel's earlier work, and the residents were eager to see what he and Ethan could accomplish together. The launch of the pilot program was a major event. The town held a public ceremony to celebrate the occasion, with the mayor and other local officials in attendance. Samuel and Ethan presented their project to the community, explaining how the platform would work and what benefits it would bring. The townspeople, many of whom had once doubted Samuel's potential, now looked at him with admiration and respect. They were proud to be part of something that had the potential to make a positive impact, not just locally, but globally. As the pilot program got underway, the results were even better than Samuel and Ethan had anticipated. The town saw immediate improvements in resource management, with significant reductions in energy consumption and waste production. The data collected by the platform provided valuable insights that helped the town's leaders make informed decisions about future investments in infrastructure and sustainability initiatives. But the success of the pilot program was just the beginning. News of the project's effectiveness spread quickly, and soon other towns and cities were expressing interest in adopting the platform. Samuel and Ethan found themselves fielding inquiries from across the country, and even internationally. It was clear that their vision had struck a chord, and the demand for their solution was growing rapidly. Despite the overwhelming success, Samuel remained humble and focused on the work ahead. He knew that the journey was far from over and that there were still many challenges to overcome. But with Ethan by his side and the support of a growing network of partners and allies, he was confident that they could achieve their goals. As Samuel and Ethan reflected on how far they had come, they couldn't help but feel a deep sense of pride in what they had built together. Their collaborative vision had not only brought them personal fulfillment, but had also laid the foundation for a brighter, 
more sustainable future for communities around the world. And as they looked to the future, they did so with the knowledge that their work was making a difference, a difference that would be felt for generations to come. As the pilot program gained traction, Samuel and Ethan found themselves facing new challenges. Scaling their project from a small town to larger cities required significant adjustments in both the software and their approach. The complexity of managing resources in densely populated urban areas was far greater, and they had to account for a wider range of variables, from diverse infrastructure to different regulatory environments. The pressure was immense, but they were determined to rise to the occasion. One of the first major hurdles came when a large city, known for its bureaucratic red tape, expressed interest in implementing the platform. Samuel and Ethan knew this could be a game changer for their project, but they were also aware of the difficulties that lay ahead. The city's government was notorious for its slow decision-making process, and there were numerous stakeholders to convince, each with their own agendas and concerns. Undeterred, Samuel and Ethan prepared meticulously for the meetings. They spent countless hours refining their presentations, anticipating questions, and developing strategies to address potential objections. When the day of the first meeting arrived, they walked into the city's government building with a mixture of confidence and nerves. The room was filled with officials, experts, and representatives from various departments, all there to evaluate the feasibility of the project. As Samuel began his presentation, he noticed some skeptical faces in the crowd. He knew he had to win them over, not just with the technical details, but by demonstrating the tangible benefits the platform could bring to the city. He spoke passionately about the potential for cost savings, the environmental impact, and the long-term benefits of sustainable resource management. Ethan supported him with data and case studies from the pilot program, showcasing the success they had already achieved. The meeting was intense, with tough questions and some pushback from officials who were hesitant to embrace such a significant change. But Samuel and Ethan remained composed, addressing each concern with clarity and conviction. They emphasized the flexibility of the platform, its ability to adapt to the specific needs of the city, and the support they would provide throughout the implementation process. By the end of the meeting, the atmosphere in the room had shifted. What had started as skepticism had turned into cautious optimism. The officials saw the potential in what Samuel and Ethan were offering. And while there were still hurdles to clear, they agreed to move forward with further discussions. It was a small victory, but an important one, proof that their project could succeed on a larger scale. As they left the meeting, Samuel and Ethan couldn't help but feel a sense of relief and accomplishment. They knew there was still a long way to go, but this was a crucial step in the right direction. Over the next few weeks, they worked closely with the city's team, refining the platform and making the necessary adjustments to ensure its success in a more complex environment. During this time, Samuel and Ethan also faced challenges within their own team. The rapid growth of the project meant that they needed to hire additional staff, and managing a larger team came with its own set of difficulties. They had to navigate conflicts, ensure that everyone was aligned with their vision, and maintain the high standards they had set from the beginning. It was a learning curve, but they approached it with the same determination and focus that had brought them this far. As the city's implementation moved forward, Samuel and Ethan began to see the fruits of their labor. The platform was successfully integrated into the city systems, and the results were even more impressive than anticipated. The city saw significant improvements in resource management, and the platform's flexibility allowed it to address challenges unique to the urban environment. The success in the city opened doors to even more opportunities, with other large municipalities expressing interest in adopting the platform. Despite the challenges, Samuel and Ethan remained committed to their vision. They knew that the road ahead would be filled with obstacles, but they were ready to face them head on. Their partnership, built on trust, respect, and a shared passion for making a difference, had proven to be their greatest strength. And as they continued to overcome each challenge, they grew more confident in their ability to achieve even greater success in the future. As the success of their platform spread, Samuel and Ethan found themselves propelled onto the global stage. The project that had started in a small town was now garnering international attention. Governments, NGOs, and private companies from around the world reached out, 
eager to implement the software in their own communities. It was a level of recognition that neither Samuel nor Ethan had anticipated, and it brought with it both exciting opportunities and daunting responsibilities. Their first major international project took them to a developing country where resource management was a critical issue. The country's infrastructure was outdated and the government was struggling to provide basic services to its rapidly growing population. Samuel and Ethan knew that this project would test their skills and their platform in ways they had never experienced before. The challenges were immense, but the potential impact was even greater. Upon arriving, they were greeted with enthusiasm by local officials who were desperate for solutions. However, it quickly became clear that the situation was more complex than they had anticipated. The country's political landscape was unstable, and there were significant logistical challenges to overcome, from unreliable electricity grids to limited access to technology. Samuel and Ethan had to adapt their platform to these new conditions, customizing it to fit the unique needs of the community. Working closely with local engineers and government officials, Samuel and Ethan spent months on the ground, troubleshooting problems and refining the platform. They faced setbacks, technical glitches, bureaucratic delays, and resistance from those who were wary of change. But they persevered, driven by the knowledge that their work could make a real difference in the lives of millions of people. As the project progressed, they began to see signs of success. The platform helped streamline resource allocation, reduce waste, and improve the efficiency of essential services. The local community, initially skeptical, began to see the benefits firsthand. Water shortages became less frequent, electricity became more reliable, and the quality of life for many residents improved significantly. The success of this international project brought Samuel and Ethan even more attention. Invitations to speak at global conferences and participate in high-level discussions on sustainability and technology poured in. They found themselves presenting their work to world leaders, top executives, and influential thinkers. It was a surreal experience. Two young men who had started with a simple idea, now standing before some of the most powerful people in the world. Despite the accolades and recognition, Samuel remained grounded. He knew that the work they were doing was about more than just success. It was about making a tangible impact on people's lives. He was also keenly aware of the responsibility that came with their newfound influence. The decisions they made, the projects they chose to take on, and the partnerships they formed would have far-reaching consequences. Ethan shared Samuel's commitment to using their platform for good. Together, they began to explore new ways to expand the impact of their work, from addressing climate change to improving education in underserved communities. They also made it a priority to give back, dedicating a portion of their profits to support local initiatives and to invest in the communities that had been instrumental in their journey. As they traveled the world, Samuel and Ethan's bond grew even stronger. They had come a long way from the small town where their journey began, but their values remained the same. They were driven by a shared vision of a better, more equitable world, and they were determined to use their skills and resources to help bring that vision to life. As their work gained more attention, they also became mentors to a new generation of innovators. Young people from around the world reached out to them for guidance, eager to learn from their experiences and to follow in their footsteps. Samuel and Ethan embraced this role, knowing that the future depended on empowering others to continue the work they had started. With each new project, Samuel and Ethan pushed the boundaries of what was possible. They knew that the challenges they faced would only grow more complex but they were ready. Their journey was far from over. And as they looked ahead, they saw a world of possibilities, a world where their work could continue to make a difference, not just in one town or one country, but across the globe. As the years passed, Samuel and Ethan's work continued to grow, leaving a lasting impact on communities around the world. Their platform became a benchmark for sustainable development implemented in cities and towns on every continent. What had started as a simple idea had blossomed into a global movement, one that transformed the way people thought about resource management, technology, and the power of innovation to create positive change. But it wasn't just the technological advancements that defined their legacy. It was the values they embodied and the lives they touched along the way. Samuel and Ethan had become more than just innovators. They were role models, leaders, and advocates for a better world.
They had shown that success wasn't just about personal achievement, but about lifting others up and making a difference in the lives of those who needed it most. Back in their hometown, the impact of their work was visible in every aspect of life. The town that had once been defined by narrow-mindedness and prejudice was now a thriving community, known for its inclusivity and progressive values. The people who had once mocked and rejected Samuel now held him in the highest regard, proud to have been part of his journey. The town's transformation was a testament to the power of perseverance, forgiveness, and the belief that change is possible, even in the most unlikely of places. Samuel and Ethan often returned to their hometown, not just to visit family and friends, but to give back to the community that had shaped them. They funded scholarships for local students, supported small businesses, and invested in infrastructure projects that improved the quality of life for everyone. Their presence was a reminder of how far the town had come and how much further it could go. As they entered the later stages of their careers, Samuel and Ethan began to think about the future, about the legacy they would leave behind. They knew that their work couldn't stop with them, and they were determined to ensure that the next generation would continue the mission they had started. To that end, they established a foundation dedicated to supporting young innovators and providing them with the resources and mentorship needed to tackle the world's most pressing challenges. The foundation quickly became a beacon of hope for aspiring changemakers, offering grants, training, and networking opportunities to those who wanted to make a difference. Samuel and Ethan took an active role in the foundation, mentoring young people from diverse backgrounds and encouraging them to dream big. They knew that the future was in good hands, and they were excited to see what the next generation would accomplish. But for Samuel, the most meaningful part of his legacy was the personal impact he had made on the lives of others, especially those who had been part of his journey from the beginning. James, now retired and enjoying his golden years, often reflected on how proud he was of the man Samuel had become. He had watched his son grow from a quiet, withdrawn boy into a confident, compassionate leader who had changed the world for the better. One evening, as Samuel and James sat together on the porch of their home, looking out at the sunset, James turned to his son with a smile. You've done so much, Samuel, more than I ever could have imagined. But what I'm most proud of is the person you are, the way you've stayed true to yourself and your values no matter what. Samuel nodded, touched by his father's words. I couldn't have done any of it without you, Dad. You believed in me when no one else did, and that made all the difference. James reached over and patted Samuel's shoulder. It was always clear to me that you were destined for great things. I'm just glad I got to be part of your journey. As they sat there, watching the sky turn shades of orange and pink, Samuel felt a deep sense of contentment. He had faced countless challenges, endured pain and rejection, but had also experienced triumph, love, and fulfillment. His journey had been one of growth, not just for himself, but for everyone whose lives he had touched along the way. Samuel knew that the work he and Ethan had started would continue long after they were gone. Their legacy was not just in the technology they had created, but in the lives they had changed, the minds they had opened, and the hope they had inspired. As they looked toward the future, they did so with the knowledge that they had made a lasting impact, a legacy of compassion, innovation, and unwavering commitment to making the world a better place.